Hello everybody, Dimple here again welcoming you all back to my next session on Android Framework Components. Wishing you all a very happy and safe Diwali. Let's get started with today's session. So we will see uh, how to debug the tombstone logs. So in one of my uh, session I have explained what exactly are tombstone logs. Uh, the link is provided in the top right corner and you can visit that video to understand when tombstone logs will be generated, the importance and more details on tombstone logs so uh, to brief tombstone logs will be generated whenever there is a native crash whenever there is crash in the native layers the lower hardware layers okay so these logs will contain the uh, addresses the program counters the addresses and backtrace so it's not easily human interpretable okay these logs seeing these logs we cannot exactly come to know where the issue is okay that is why we use a tool called address to line tool which will convert the addresses into file names and line numbers so when we are given a particular set of logs and when we are not able to uh, derive in which uh, line number and file the issue is seen we will use this address to line tool which will help us to convert these addresses which are generated in tombstone logs into file name and line number so that we can easily go to that file that function that line number and we can see what is the issue we can go ahead and fix that issue so uh, to brief about this address to line address to line tool is one of the tool which is used to uh, get the file name and line number and the address to line tool is um, used on linux and the build machines okay uh, i tried i tried and researched like how to use it on windows but uh, there is no way uh, to use address to line on windows uh, machine so on windows i have installed mobile xterm which is a software where, where uh, all my uh, build details build information my source code build tree is stored okay so mobile xterm have installed so uh, whenever we give a full build out directory will be generated okay so intermediates will also be generated inside that out directory so inside out directory we can go to product target subfolders and there we can find this address to line tool so basically what i meant to say is if you already have any android source code just once you give full build to your source code inside the out directory automatically address to line tool will be generated for you that is one of the easiest way to uh, get this address to line tool so address to line tool uses uh, many input formats so uh, we can just give address to line hyphen h and we'll come to know wh what are the significance of each of these characters like minus c is most important used characters because that is the one which is used to demangle it is the one which is converting the address into the line number and file name and minus r no recurs limit okay minus e we have to give the file name minus f will also display the function name wherever the issue is seen minus s will display the base name and uh, minus p is pretty print which is user friendly minus j is section name minus h so whichever uh, commands you are not sure if you want more information you can always type minus h which will give you help and minus v will give you the version so yeah that's it if you already have a build tree with you just give full build and check in the out folder address to line will automatically be generated for you so uh, this is how tombstone log looks like i have taken a small chunk of the logs so it will tell the timestamp and pid thread id client and where exactly the issue so here the issue is there in our system server itself and the uid of that system server and this is the exact error okay uh, java out of memory error out of memory error thrown while trying to throw an exception so this is how the stack trace looks like you can find right there are different addresses from this address we exactly cannot come to know where exactly the issue is there so it's not easily interpretable format so that is why we use 
address to line which converts these particular addresses into the line number and function name so whenever we have a tombstone logs uh, main importantly go to this backtrace part this is the continuation of this earlier part so uh, backtrace you go and this is the program counter so mainly check for program counter 0 1 2 and 3 the, the issue wherever the issue is there that information will be present in basically these four program counters so mainly check for uh, 0 1 2 and 3 this is the address okay and this is the file number but it's not telling the line number and all so uh, the command which we use is we have to use address to line hyphen h where we get all the information here uh, i have taken a screenshot of my uh, mobile xterm screen and just uh, shown how minus h uh, displays the different options okay uh, so the main command we use is this one so we use address to line hyphen capital c hyphen f hyphen e okay and we have to give the file name file name from where we will get this is the file name which we have to give as input okay lipsy.so file this is the file name which we have to give as input followed by the address what is the address here address is this one this is my address so file name is there address is there if i want to get to know the function name and the line number i have to use that particular command so address to line hyphen c hyphen f hyphen e file name address c hyphen c hyphen file name okay and followed by the address and it will tell this is my function name and this is the file name and in line number 50 issue is there okay this crash is happening because of the code that is present in line number 50 in our bot.cpp file under the function abort okay so if we want a more user friendly uh, output then we can use minus p here we can uh, use that extra minus p option so if we use extra minus p it will just tell abort at this so this is the function which is present in about.cpp file and the line number is 50 okay so this is how we will come to know the exact line number so this is the memory address the program counter address so this address is nothing but it is pointing out to line number 50 in about.cpp file Similarly, I have taken a different uh, file here and a different program counter address. So uh, here it's uh, showing a different function. Okay, a runtime about uh, about function, but in runtime.cc and the line number is 649. Minus s will only tell the base. Okay, it will not display the entire path. If you just uh, give your minus s option, it will not display the entire path. It will just tell the file name where the issue is seen see the output if i use minus s looks like this runtime.cc and the line number is 649 so this is how we convert the address into the line number and uh, the file name so that's what i wanted to show you all today uh, in this particular session so basically the easiest way to use is in your linux system or in your build servers so on windows you can use mobile xterm software where you can store all your uh, build uh, source code in from there you can just give a full build command okay full uh, source you have to build and once it is done out folder will be generated there you can easily get this address to line tool and you can use this particular uh, command to get the exact line number where the issue is seen so you can fix it and go ahead so that's what i had for today's session and we came to our end of our session so today's question will be what is the difference between fast boot and bootloader in android so fast Fast boot and bootloader both are different terms and different concepts. Fast boot is one of the method where you will flash your device. Okay, so you can either flash your device through recovery or you can flash your device through fast boot. When you have the images like system.img, boot.img, the different images and when you know the uh, bootloader uh, lock, that time we will use fast boot command to just 
flash the different binaries so fast boot is nothing but just remember it is one of the way where we flash our device that's all and bootloader is nothing but it is a piece of code which is executed when your device is booting up so bootloader is the one who is responsible to bring up your entire android operating system bootloader will contain the code which will start the different components one by one so your device will be up your operating system will be up and your phone will be booted so that is bootloader fast boot is a way to flash your device and bootloader is the uh, first component which will be executed during the boot up process of your android device so i hope that is clear and Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you all in my next session. Until then, everyone take care. Bye.